up, fam. I don't get why anyone would ever tell Luffy a plan. It's it just seems like a waste. It, it, there's no point to it. There, there's no real reason for anyone to ever say, "Hey, we have something that takes like precision and like care, and you know we got to be stealthy and, and careful." And then tell Luffy, who immediately ruins it every time. The dude has no no setting for anything other than you know, like, "Hey, we you know we go right in." It's it's a little bit annoying. I mean, it's it was a situation where if if it wasn't for time skip, then I'd be like, okay, that's slightly understandable. Or if it was a situation where it was, I don't know, something within his league or something considerable, then I'd be okay with this. But there's so many problems with, with what happened in this chapter, One Piece chapter 922, with Kaido showing up and them kind of going over law talking about uh, the smile and all the weapons and, and, you know, the smile of the fake devil fruits that Kaido was buying and how Luffy and Law's crews, they, they you know, their their group allegiance went and took down the factory at Punk Hazard and then the distribution center in Dressrosa. So obviously Kaido has big beef with them, and if he finds out they're there, then then he's, they're, they're fucked pretty much. So, understandable at that point, everything's, everything seems to be going fine. They're like, oh shit, it's, Ka it's Kaido. They, we gotta be careful, we can't we can't mess around. We can't get exposed or caught right now. It's, this is dangerous. And they just set up. They just set up like, hey, we're gonna go do this at the festival thing in two weeks or whatever. And all right, we just have to, you know, wait until then. Kaido shows up with the fat samurai dude and the fat samurai guy. I don't know. He has a slight flashback. I guess maybe he and some guys fought Kaido at one point. And. I'm wondering what, uh, if there'll be further relevance to that, but uh, I got super annoyed at the page where Kaido's like being goofy and has his tongue out. Kubo, or almost said Kubo. Oda, please don't make him. I mean, he could be drunk. He could be a, a goofy drunk, but like his tongue out like that looks so. It makes his character look so stupid, especially coming from like a big Eastern dragon. Like, if you want to make him like a incoherent drunk that okay fair enough like we already know that he can't handle alcohol we already had something with he got something like toriko he had ichiru who was like the strongest man at the pl on the planet at the time you know really powerful real badass he's like six six and probably like i don't know 800 pounds of muscle or something crazy and he was uh, a super lightweight with alcohol so it's like okay yeah you got these real big super scary guys but they're weak at alcohol something something you could go aha uh -huh. pretty funny but please don't do that that dumb goofy face. And then uh, he gets was it Jack? Somebody goes and says like, "Hey, there's some stuff going on at, at Odin Castle." And that, oh, it was Hawkins uh, talking about Odin Castle. And like maybe they're there. So Kaido goes and he breathes in their its direction. He uses like a heat breath and destroys the castle. So. Funny enough, the, the fat samurai guy seems to be really annoyed by it. He doesn't seem happy by it. But everyone else is like, yeah. oh, wow, so powerful. I mean, destroying it with, like, a heat breath, I mean, that's powerful at the same time. That castle, like, that's that's up within a lot of characters' potential, really, to destroy in One Piece. Maybe it was the range. Maybe the range really just kind of adds to the destructive power of it. I don't know. I, I figured it could have been cooler. Like, that whole area around it also, like, a big chunk of that, like, hill should have been gone as well or maybe like caught fire or something to kind of like make it even more hype i think it should have been way more devastating but you know whatever luffy thinking something's going on with his crew uh where they're hiding there maybe he thinks they're all dead and but this is where i have a problem luffy goes and attacks kaido so in the mindset of him going to like he's pissed off you know maybe something happened to his crew with that maybe they're all dead who knows He's like, all right, I'm going to go attack. But Luffy already went and tried to fight a – he already tried to fight a inferior Yonko with Big Mom. And, I mean, really, what did he accomplish? Nothing. And he now he's going to fight Kaido, a far superior member of the Yonko. And what does he – does he think things are going to be good for him? Like he – not only that, he goes in with – third gear active he doesn't go in with fourth gear he should have immediately started out with king kong gun 
that would have that would have really put in the situation. Like, like I, I know like Kaido is a big deal, but why would and like Luffy's mad, but like why would he not go into the situation with his absolute best against Kaido of all people? Like, why would he go in with an elephant gun? The last time that like really that seemed that like big and impressive, it knocked out that Kraken, and like you're gonna compare that Kraken to to a dragon, Luffy? What are you doing? It's it's dumb. I, I don't I don't like that aspect. I don't like the idea of him breaking the situation and going into attack like that when when they were all set up for for covert stuff and he I mean the idea of him just doing that in general is like okay he's he's breaking out of stuff sometimes maybe his you know anger gets the better ones there's a situation that he can prevent but it's already been done and it's with someone that he already should know is, is out of his league and somebody he can't really do much with but on top of that him saying screws to it, you know, just fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. You know, this is a uh, do it or run c scenario and I'm going to do it guy. He goes in like not even half baked with the, with an elephant gun. Like why, Luffy? What are you doing? Why would you not go in with your absolute best? Why are you, why are you going in halfway? I think that's the part that really just makes me like annoyed with this chapter. It's like I, third gear and second gear are pretty much useless now. You have, Bound Man and Snake Man, which are pretty much like ultra buffed versions of those two. So like, why would you why would you use it? Like if you're gonna use it against trash that base Luffy can't beat, like okay, but why are you why are you wasting your time with third gear on Kaido? It just that seems so goofy to me. It doesn't seem to make any sense. It would it would be like I don't know. It it, it would be like if if Natsu went to go fight the leader of these new dragon eaters, and he's like, "All right, I know what'll do." And he goes in his lightning flame dragon slayer mode. It's like you, that's, that hasn't been useful for big shots in a long time, dude. Just put it down. Go for the big stuff. You, that's what you need to be doing. When, when, when you when you're in a situation like that, you that's, that's when you should go all out from the start. And that's like that's I think my big problem with this one is like, why would you dick around if this is supposed to be like a severe like screw it, I'm going in, like, moment, you should, you should be going in with fourth gear, it should not be this, anyway, uh, tell me what you think of the comments, I mean, there are cool panels, other than the ones where Kaido has his dumb tongue out, and, I mean, the chapter itself, like, it had some, yeah, it had some cool parts, but, uh, Luffy doing that, just, the way he did it, it annoyed me so much, if you like the video though, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you like the chapter and you disagree with me, tell me in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe to the, to the channel if you haven't already. I do mostly manga and anime stuff. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very much for listening.